today's video is gonna be about teaching yoga. Hmm, let me tell you. Teaching yoga is physically and mentally exhausting because physically you have to demonstrate all the poses and mentally because you have to be present 100% during the class and you have to think of what poses come next and, and the poses that you want to teach in class. I have been teaching for a month in person but pre previously during COVID I was teaching on an app and everything was online so I got a lot of practice giving verbal cues to my students. My first yoga class in the studio was a month ago on a Friday. I was so nervous before my first class. The night before my first yoga class, I was pacing about in my room. I was hyperventilating and in the morning, I did the whole sequence for the, the whole one hour sequence one time through before I went to teach my intro class. For my first class, there were two students and the students were very nice. To, I just gave them verbal cues and did the whole sequence with them, uh, which I should, which I now looking back shouldn't have, because if I did less of the poses, I would be able to stand up more and like watch their poses and see where they can improve. I feel quite happy that I. I did it! I managed to teach two yoga classes. It wasn't so bad actually. Okay. Yay! Okay, now I feel a bit more confident to teach teach my class tomorrow. I have two classes in the evening tomorrow. The main thing is to give them corrections and encouragement. Pretend they are, fr they are your friends doing yoga and you're teaching them and you'll feel more at ease. So the second tip is to be early and get enough rest before your yoga class. So being early is so important because it helps you get settled and be less nervous about your class. I find that in the beginning of the class, every pranayama also helps to calm you down. So the pranayama is not only helping to calm your students down but to calm you down. So yeah, don't skip pranayama. Okay, and the third tip is to use your intuition. So in the beginning when I was teaching, I was practicing a lot and thinking about how each class should be and writing every step out. but. Like today, I just taught a class in the afternoon and I didn't even have to write anything out. I just went with the flow. So it was completely spontaneous. And that's the beauty of teaching yoga. After a month of teaching, you should be so fluent in the language of asanas that you can do all the poses and give all the instructions with a lot more ease than before. That's all of the tips that I have for you. Okay, so my favorite part about teaching yoga is actually when they close their eyes and when I'm giving them visualizations with every inhale, breathe in that positive energy with every exhale let go of all that does not serve you feel yourself becoming more and more relaxed i love that i love that shit so maybe that could be my next career option to be like a physical therapist beast therapist to be a physical therapist or like to be an art therapist because I do art as well. So, in conclusion, speaking from your heart helps you be a more authentic yoga teacher. 
and other than that I think having just in general having a good work ethic helps being polite being punctual being sincere and I think it has to come from the heart for all of you who are new teachers I hope that you guys remain calm just keep breathing just relax and you'll be okay trust me you will be all right you will be a good teacher as long as you're teaching from your heart yeah so i hope you gain something from this video and i will upload a new video next week if you have any questions for me as a yoga teacher you can leave them in the comments below like if you like this video subscribe and click the bell for the notifications for new videos and i will see you very soon bye